Good afternoon, everyone. Brandon Smith, Vice President of Business Development and Sales for the Central and East Regions. Today, I'm here with Lydia Gallegos, who is the National Partner Manager for NICE in Contact. Lydia, how are you? I'm doing great, Brandon. How are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, good for you to be here, and, and thanks for the time. I appreciate it. All things going on, businesses is uh, bumping. But I have a few questions I want to ask you, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, one. How has Nice in Contact been helping customers in the current environment we find ourselves in? Well, I think uh, kind of where we are now in such an interesting time, it's a, it's a great time to be in the cloud contact center business. Um, you know, our company really sort of stays in that, in that singular lane and uh, really focusing on getting employees and, and agents, you know, wherever they may be and in whatever industry they might be um, at home uh, to continue sort of business continuity, disaster recovery. I guess we probably might not have ever thought that a, you know, thing like this in terms of a pandemic would send so many of us kind of home and, and working from a home office. Uh, so if companies weren't thinking about it before, um, if they weren't in an area that might have had, you know, tornadoes or earthquakes or whatever, they're thinking about it now because they need a way for their business to continue and um, try to come up with creative ways to, keep their business uh, going and moving uh, without losing their customers. Yeah, look, there, there's, there's a few stories floating around out there about you guys and how well you guys have, have uh, dove in with your end user. Can you give us some specifics as to what it is you guys have done for your end users? Yeah, you know, I think that there's so many businesses, like I said before, that have really, you know, sort of catapulted uh, decision making and and even increased agents that they had you know prior to COVID. Um, one of the largest things that we've seen and kind of the biggest spikes that we've seen lately have been in state and local government. Um, one of those being uh, a two one one that I think it's almost three hundred and nine million people in the U S have access to via whichever state you live in, and that two one one line is really kind of a crisis uh, center hotline. So it is you know, care for the elderly, um, obviously the, the pandemic, if someone needed help getting groceries, if they weren't, couldn't go out, any sort of, you know, needs that they might have, you know, the hearing impaired, uh, those hotlines in terms of crisis have just absolutely catapulted. Um, and those are all done kind of through United Way. So, so many people sort of calling that need assistance, you know, during this odd time. And I think even outside of that, um, New York, we know, I think all of us know, has been kind of affected one of the hot spots in the U.S. Um, and there have been 39 separate business units that we've turned up over the last two months. Um, so you think about everything. You so you think about um, unemployment is obviously experiencing a huge spike. Uh, transportation, you know, how people will get to and from, uh, whether that be, you know, car, rail, air, airplanes. Um, so different portions of the state that have just ramped up uh, their their usage and their users just to try to handle all of the influx of calls that they've gotten from, you know, people in the state of New York for all of those different divisions. And then nationwide in terms of that crisis hotline for 211, that's really where we've seen an incredible spike kind of in our business um, just in response to this COVID. Well done. I love those kind of stories and more. So how has uh, NICE in Contact evolved as the deployment of the remote workforce? How have you guys done it? Well, I, you know, we have had a CX1 at home offer that we, at the very beginning of this and in, in our first quarter, and we run on kind of on the fiscal year, um, that we did and said we could turn up your contact center in 48 hours. And that was very basic at the time, just the call sure. routing and recording. And kind of as we have progressed into the second quarter, we're now able to offer chat, screen recording, workforce management, quality management. So we've sort of added to that suite. Um, the voice and recording sort of being done in that first 48 hours, and then the other things can be done, I believe, in seven days, uh, just depending on what their schedule is. But it certainly uh, gives them a, a good offer and something that they can utilize for free in the first 60 days. And then our sales team will work with them kind of on long-term solutions um, while they're in that 60-day contracting with no commitment and, and no contract for those first 60 days. But then our sales team will work with them to kind of push that forward so that they'll continue the usage. But I think most of them will see, you know, kind of the, uh, 
the advantages of that kind of moving forward. Right. Yeah, I love that. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question that I ask a lot of partners, actually. Uh, okay. But here I am asking a supplier, how do you see the future? I mean, all things considered, right? I mean, I think typically as an industry, we all pride ourselves on seeing, you know, the yeah. industry in three to five years, maybe a little further. But with the, the muddied waters out there today, how do you see it? You know, I think uh, because this portion right now is really our new normal, I think businesses are really changing the way in which they perceive their workforce for the future. So you see companies, I mean, even just this week, you've seen Twitter, you've seen Google, you've seen Facebook, Square, saying they're going to extend the work from home offer potentially for their employees forever. So you think there's going to be a lot of businesses that will abandon brick and mortar they just don't need it anymore. If they can sort of continue their business kind of as is and, and see the results and really for, you know, what the technology that we're providing, kind of tracking their employees and seeing what they're doing and seeing how they're using their time and really using those analytics to, you know, satisfy what the business needs are. I think you're going to see moving forward companies just deciding, you know what, this work from home model is really going good for us. We don't need people to come back to the office. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, too, about keeping people safe. So yeah. keeping your workforce safe, you know, if you don't need them to necessarily come back in or if they do come back in, there's going to be all sorts of, you know, sort of stipulations around temperature and if they've been around someone that's been sick. So I think there's going to be a lot of things um, just business corporate wise that will change and it'll be It'll be interesting to see sort of how some of these companies will continue that work from home model or have employees come back on a more limited basis. Yeah, well said. Well said. Yeah, there's a big question mark around a lot of that, but I think it's starting to come into focus. So I'll ask you this, and, and, and like myself and a lot of others out there, you do see a lot of partners, a lot of different models out there. So if I'm going to just a broad stroke here, what is the blueprint for success for our partners? So, I mean, I think, and we talked about this at the beginning of the call, I think because of this pandemic and the way that it has affected, you know, not only our country, but really globally, yeah. you have got to start thinking about how can I continue business? How can I be flexible? How can I be sort of scalable in terms of what I'm gonna do moving forward? And all of your Intellisys sales partners should be going to their customers to find out what their plan is. Because I think at this moment, all of those businesses, if they don't currently have a plan, they need a plan. And what better way to not be a part of that by asking the right questions from now and getting ahead of it, especially with some of the free offers that you know companies like ourselves have, you can put those things in place from now and then 60 days from now, you know, really kind of start to see a revenue build and something that could be a future sort of uh, watch those companies grow and scale uh, in the model of work from home. Yeah. Yeah. What's well that again? Yeah. So guys, look, Lydia, I, I promise you I wouldn't take up a lot of your time. I know we all have things to do. So thank you for the time and, and the commentary and the insight. Uh, across the board and, and to everyone else that's taking the time to watch this. Thank you guys very much for doing so. Uh, I will say, please go to our go remote page at intellisys.com and you'll find more solutions and, and, and more helpful hints from nice in contact. Thank you everyone. Mm -hmm.